Hi everyone, si Lee here. Welcome back to my channel. So, oh, sa mga walang uh, date dyan, hindi nag-schedule ng date. Kasi bawal naman doon mag What? So, <laughs> yung mga gusto magbasa-basa. And um, here's something that I want to recommend. Actually, marami to. What I'm gonna show is a list of books that I have on hand. Kasi most of the books that I've read and I have, I'm reading at the moment, the mga romance books, are e-books. Pero since mas maganda yun na mahahawakan ko siya at mapapakita ko sa inyo. So, let's start. First is The Kiss Quotient by Helen Wong. I've read this like two years ago, three years ago. Ang ganda-ganda nito, promise. Um, isa to sa mga sulit na mababasa nyo and you do want to read this. This is about a girl. So, meron siyang Asperger Syndrome. Yung girl dito, si Stella. And then, eto para tong pretty woman na flip ang gender. So, yung yung guy yung queen ang society ni Julia Roberts. And then, yung si Stella naman yung sa kay Richard Gere. So, yung sa mga ka-age ko dyan na at yung mga younger ones na ka-appreciate ng pretty woman. I'll, I know you like this ano, book. Super solid siya. And then, another book that I'm, I'm gonna recommend is by Christina Lauren, Dating You, Dating You. Ito naman, ang... Ang hindi ko makalimutan dito is when they attended like parang uh, a party and then sila lang yung parang naka Harry Potter Aww. costume. Silang dalawa. So, match na match sila. Alam mo, meron silang pareho sa wavelength nila. Diba? Sa kanilang mind. So, isa to sa maganda rin na nabasa ko. Actually, mara, most of Christina Lawrence books are really nice. It's NA, pero um, ang ganda ng story ng mga books niya. Actually, dalawa sila. Christina and Lauren, dalawang author ito. And another one, syempre, different author again. Pwedeng stand alone. And this is, um, of course, Abby Glines. Isa sa mga, lahat yata ng books ni Abby Glines na basa ko nga. So, sobrang sabi And this time around, I want to slowly collect her books. Until Friday night. Ang ganda nito. Um, the story, ang sad lang, ang sad ng background ng girl dito kasi, um, she saw her, um, dad killed her mom and then, the sobrang traumatic experience, hindi siya nagsasalita. So, yung natitira niyang relative, they thought na she lost her voice already, na akala nila mute na siya or deaf, something like that. And then, super kikiligin kayo. <laughs> talagang kinikilig. Kinikilig kayo dito. Basta yung mga nire-recommend ko, ay, kasi so, yun yung mga pinabasa ko na super kakilig-kilig na hindi mo maka makakalimutan mo may pandemic pala. Temporarily, while you're reading the book. And of course, hindi ko kakalimutan ng aking isa sa mga favorite author ko na na discover ko when I started collecting and reading books. The Fill-In Boyfriend by Casey West. Yung mga naunang books ni Casey West, super love ko talaga. Ito, nagka-doble-doble pa nga ang kopya ko. Dito na sobrang excited ko. <laughs> and then, yung oh, On the Fence ba yan? I forgot the title. Yun, so, yung mga gusto ko. Ito, this one naman, um, nag-pretend siya na kumuha ng kunyari boyfriend. You know, alam mo na, kasi nga, pride, ganyan, and para to to show somebody na ano. So, maganda yung ano nung story nito. Kakilig-kilig nito. Ito, ito naman, it's clean. It's easy, West. Mga clean, clean yung box niya. So, you can easily just give it to, like, younger teens. Pwede siya. Ito naman, Paper Princess, um, Erin Watt. Um, some of the, the books that I'm recommending are series. Some naman are standalone or can be read as a standalone. Ito naman, may ibang nagko-complain dito na masyadong toxic. Pero for me kasi, I love the yung story ng girl dito. She was like orphaned. And then, parang she's trying to uh, live on her own. Tapos, she was um, yung, yung best friend ng dad niya. Nahanap siya. 
and then they were really rich and they were able to he wanted to provide for her kaya lang yung mga anak ng puro mga guys and they thought na she's one of the gold diggers na nami-meet ng dad niya kasi yung latest na girlfriend ng dad is like close to her age so yun medyo napaka may struggle na ganaganap struggle ni sense na yung parang alam mo yun nagkukulitan sila na para siyang binubully or something pero she stood her ground basta yun kakakilig-kilig dito and syempre hindi mga ma, ma complete ang list na ito without Colleen Hoover So, pero so far, ito, ito yung isa sa pinaka-favorite ko yung November 9. Kaya parang it's a requirement, mga coho, high cohorts. So, na whenever it's November 9, you need to read November 9. What? You know, Ben, kahit pasaway si Ben dito. Pero you're gonna love this character. So, itong November 9, medyo kasi si coho, pag gumagawa siya ng book, merong mga may sakit sa damdam. May mga ano masakit sa pusong basahin. You're gonna feel the pain pero afterwards nandoon yung may kilig, merong you'll fall in love, you'll swoon over the relationship or the guy or the girl, ganun. Basta definitely meron siyang recall kasi sobrang lahat yata ng emotions pagdadaanan mo. Yeah. Okay. Next is the Book of Ivy. Ang ganda nito. Pansin nyo ba yung mga favorite ko ng mga romance? Mga paperback. Ito yung mga hindi ko kayang pigilan na hindi ko. Like, kasi they really, really good for me. As in, I really like it. Kung, um, if I'm gonna count how many times I've reread this, like, book, siguro may three to five times, ganun. By ebook, ito, and real book, ganun. So, pag may reading slump ako, isa dito yung mga binabasa ko. Yeah, so this naman, the Book of Ivy, romance din siya, pero more on parang post-apocalyptic um, backgrounder nito, ang world nito. Pero definitely, you're gonna like this one. Ang, ang ano naman nito is, para siyang Hunger Games, di ba? Parang sila yung natira doon, and then they cannot go out. And then there are two families na um, uh, wanted to be the leader and then yung mga na opposing side na in the lo- the ones from the losing side na family and their supporters they're they're required to parang marry kabilang side sa winning side naman so required at a certain age and then yung sa family nung losing side the which is yung girl na dito si Ivy she was trained to parang to kill yung son nung leader and then dun na nagsimula Basta mo yun na siya. Maramis! Basahin nyo. Basahin nyo. So, so far itong list ko na to whatever books I have, yun lang yung nare-recommend ko. Ha? Kasi, ang dami-dami ko talagang books na romance na mare-recommend. And of course, isa sa mga favorite authors ko na more than 10 times ko lang nabasa. What? I'm not exaggerating. This one is Sweet Evil by Wendy Higgins. Pinago ko yung ano yung dust jacket. Practice lang. So, ito yung aking practice na dust jacket. So the Sweet Evil series is all about Nephilims. These are the sons and daughters of a fallen angel with a human. So the main characters here are Anna and Caden. Si Anna, she was raised by a human mother and she's unaware na Nephilim pala siya. All the while she thought she's just a regular human na may kakaiba lang siyang parang strength, kakaibang vision, whatsoever. So one day, Anna and her best friend, they, were, they went to a, an event. And then, doon niya nga na-meet si Kaden na na-notice niya parang may same sila. Eventually, Kaden explained it to her. And it turned out, 
napaka-delikado, napaka-risky ng mga Nephilims. They're very disposable sa mga father nila na fallen angels. And then, they were tasked to spread the sins. Kung baga, kung halimbawa, ang father nila is uh, sa gluttony. So, kailangan i-promote nila yung, kung baga, i-encourage na yung mga tao na maging uh, gluton, mga ganyan. So, yun, uh, doon nag-evolve yung story kasi hindi lang si Anna and si Kaden. Marami silang Nephilims doon na um, gusto nilang magbago pero they're not allowed to do so. Wala silang choice. This series is really nice so I really hope you'll take time to read this one. And then this one, ito yung isa sa series na, this is a trilogy actually, pero kung gusto nyo basahin muna yung book one. Ito yung isa sa munti ko nang i-dispose at ibenta, ipamigay whatsoever. Kasi nga, I've tried reading this for like five times. I started like five times over and over na hindi ko natapos-tapos. Hanggang eventually sabi ko, ah, last na to. Pag hindi ko to nagustuhan, ibebenta ko to or swap whatever. And then, it turned out, ah, nung, na- nung umpisahan ko siya din, nagustuhan ko nga, naging favorite ko pa siya. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> favorite ko pa tong trilogy nito. So, Under the Never Sky by Veronica Rossi. So, ito naman, same din to. Post-apocalyptic din ang setting nito. So, meron yung, um, I forgot, teka lang, sino ba dito ang galing? So, meron sa nasa from the outside na akala nila wala ng existing na mga tao from the outside. And then, meron silang sariling mundo dun na sa enclosed ng, ano, ng parang uh, enclosed yung space nila. Akala kasi nila the air outside is parang deadly na they're gonna get killed. Yun. So, merong nakapasok doon. So, doon na nag-start ang kanila love story, baby sayers. <laughs> and, eto siguro yung last na muna for this recommendation. This one, I don't know why it's underrated. Walang halos gumawa ng review dito. Ito yung um, book ni Casey West na first is hardcover. Then second, hindi siya yung typical love story na uh, basic setting. Hindi siya contemporary. Ang setting nito is para siyang um, science fiction. Kasi ito ang story nito, um, at a certain age, you're given a chance to parang foresee the future, pero eto, hindi lang foresee, parang you live it. Tapos, hindi mo alam kung kasi yun yung habang nandun ka na sa moment na yun na akala mo yun yung life mo, and then eventually you'll be awakened na ah, eto pala yung parang search for you na, kasi kung halimbawa, eto yung path na tinake mo or this person yung pinili mo eto yung magiging buhay mo eventually hanggang tumanda ka, eto yung ganun. So, Ito yung parang nakakaluka na. <laughs> parang paano kung saya-saya mo na pala at biglang, ano, hindi pa pala yun yung reality mo. Ano, pero ang ganito, duology lang siya. So, baka may chance kayo, basahin nyo ito. Pivot point and, where is it? Here. Pivot point and split second. Definitely, maganda siya. So, ang nipis lang nito eh. Siguro na ilang pages lang ito. 300 pages lang. Kayang-kaya nyo ito. So, sobrang ganda nito. Yun, yun muna yung re-recommend ko for this Valentine's Day na mga uh, reads for Valentine's. Uh, definitely maganda and kakilig-kilig. And um, for my next video, I'll try to um, do some recommendations as well. Thank you for watching. Bye. Subscribe.